How's it going, Pokemon trainers? I'm Trainer Connor, and it is time for a Wi-Fi Pokemon battle video. We have a overuse tier battle versus my friend Isaiah, the top tier for competitive battling. My favorite tier, to be honest. It's great because you can use several Pokemon in that just one tier there. Anyway, so we have to face a Kankakul protecting, and then I U turn out with my Talon Flame. He switches out and goes into his forces. In just four forces, I have Gross Man here, my Mega Mega Gross, going for that Mega Evolution, expecting Rotom to take that Steel type move. I go with a Zen Headbutt. It's a cute hit KO on Rotom, which I wasn't sure if it's an offensive Rotom or it could be a defensive variant. We have to find out. We do see him setting up the rain here. I wasn't sure how that's going to benefit him with Amoongus out here. Amoongus is a great checkmate for Rotom. And uh, this is actually... I actually brought the wrong Amoongus to this battle. It's actually a VGC style one. Suitable for doubles, not singles. Although, it works out here in this battle. Just because I have Protect, I have Giga Drain for recovery, Queer Spog to erase Stabus, which Amoongus is going to do against the Tentacruel because Tentacruel is going for Source Death, yes, like you see here. He gets a paralysis, which is actually really lucky for him because now he has a plus two attack stat. That's really unfortunate. But even after that, my Amoongus is physically bulky, is able to take that knockoff very well. Unfortunately though, he had to knock off my Black Sludge, my recovery item for this battle. But since it's gone, I have to rely on my Giga Drain, my offensive move. Amoongus. So here I go into my Zapdos trying to hit this kinda cool with a Thunderbolt because it's super effective, but he hangs on after I go with a Volt Switch, not wanting him to take a Thunderbolt to the face. I was expecting a switch out, but he stays in, goes with another knockoff, knocks off my Citrus Berry there like you saw. I'm just like, no, I want to get rid of this stupid tentacle because it's annoying the crap out of me. So I go with an Aqua Jet. I hit Forges coming in, not doing a ton of damage here. That kind of sucks. I think it's a physically defensive Forges if I ever saw one. He goes with a Wish. My strongest move is actually play rough, which will miss at times, but I fortunately hit. I take care of Forges. But, of course, we still have to take care of Tentacruel. He wishes up and gets that health back. Very unfortunate. For those who don't know, Wish activates a turn after it's used. So he would go for Protect to get that Wish activated, get all that health back, vice versa. And that's what happens here. So here I transform into him with my Ditto, with that Imposter ability. To resist the water type move very cleanly there and I actually go with a choice scarf knock off to outspeed him I knock off his own black sludge from his recovery item and uh, he knocks off as well knocks off my choice scarf choice scarf multiplies your speed by 1.5 but I don't have it anymore so you know that's kind of Okay, I don't know. It, it just, it's just I have no fast Pokemon anymore. Well, to be fair, I have my Gale Wings Town Flame in the back. Gale Wings is a priority ability. Just saying there. Now, he opts to go for that Mega Evolution a turn after he went for that Thunder Wave. I'm not sure why. It would work out the same either way. I went for Aqua Jet just to put some damage onto that Mega Manetric. I wanted to sacrifice my Pokemon there because I think he's done his course in this match. So Azumarill, you did a great job in this match. We still have priority in the back, so it's all good. Speaking of priority, I go back into my priority user Mustang 
With that gale wings ability, we're going to just hit everything hard with a Brave Bird, no matter how fast my opponent's Pokemon is. So, we take care of Espeon. Espeon was going for a Psy Shock. I actually was able to live it, even though Mustang is not that, not that bulky. Here I go to Roost, trying to get my health back, and he's able to KO me with his own Brave Bird. I was a little bit sad to see that, but, you know, that's the power of Calumflame. We all brought our own Calumflame to this match. And his is Shiny Color. A different color, that means, well, nothing. It's just shiny and it looks cooler. I don't know. Anyway, so I wanted to scare out the Calum Flame with a Thunderbolt, even if he wants to switch into his Mega and Electric to resist the Electric type move. It's not going to work because at that level of HP that he had, he's, he's not going to survive it. Now, here's where I was like, maybe I can let him get affected by my effect spore if he's going for a physical move. A physical move that catches a Pokemon with effect spore can get inflicted with a sky's condition. In this case, it's going to be a sleep. That's awesome because now I can transform into him. This way I can have my own shiny talon flame just for a little bit there to clean things up with another Brave Bird. And that's the end of an amazing Wi-Fi battle. Thank you guys for watching this Wi-Fi battle. We have a rematch coming here real soon. So stay tuned for that rematch. I'll see you guys all next time. Alright, goodbye trainers.